What's up, guys? Welcome to the Crypto Savvy channel. I'm Craig. We're going to talk about Bitcoin and what I'm looking for. First, we're going to take a look at uh, the Wyckoff distribution schematic number one and two. We'll make some adjustments to that because there still is a possibility uh, that we could have some higher highs. Although I'm not in that camp, I'm going to show you those possibilities first. Um, we're going to adjust our old charts just a little bit for the sign of weakness. We're going to bring that down a little bit, which that's what we could have uh, just hit. And then we're going to go into the macro, and then we're going to look at my Elliott Wave counts also. Those are two different forms uh, that people use for market analysis. So definitely stick around for the whole video. Let's get into it. But before we do, make sure you smash that thumbs up. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, tick that notification bell. That'll get you notified when I post new videos. Let's get into it. All right. So for the bulls, we're going to take a look at the Wyckoff distribution schematic number two first. And then number one, that these are the bullish case, which I still don't see a $100,000 Bitcoin in either one of these. Although uh, schematic number two shows another all-time high. Schematic number one will show two more highs before the big crash. I do believe that we are still going to witness the biggest money grab in history, not only in Bitcoin, but in tra traditional markets. Um, in tomorrow's video, we'll be going over more of the traditional markets. But anyways, let's get on with this. So as you guys know, we were looking at this. I had the SOW up here off this low. We're going to move that down because this could very well be the sign of weakness right here where we got our bounce. And now we go to our new all-time high, which could be somewhere in between 76 uh, and 78, somewhere in that range. That would look something more like this. If we get that, that could be our last high, <clears throat> unless this distribution uh, phase plays out like schematic number one, which I'm going to show you next. But this is schematic two saying this would be the high. Again, Stick around because I'm going to show you why this could have been our all-time high also and that we continue down, which is the camp that I'm in. Anyways, we're going to take a look at all views. So as of right now, um, if this was to play out, we could still have one more all-time high, right? Now let's take a look at schematic number one. This shows two more all-time highs. Again, we would have to move the SOW, which is a sign of weakness, down to this level. And I'll pull up the chart so you can see it, what it looks like. That's right here. So that would show two more highs, right? The final high being somewhere around 78 to 80,000 uh, towards the end of the year, if this is the case. But as of right now, um, if this is the case, the sign of weakness was our low here, we come up to a new all-time high, and then a continuation of the downside. But if at any point we break this 56.6 range, uh, that would invalidate all of this, in my opinion. I will show you my bearish count that still seems to be playing out in the Elliott Wave Theory also. Um... First, let's take a look at the video I made. Now, we're going to talk about the tweezer top. This meaning that we already reached the all-time high. I'm going to show you a video from last week when the monthly close came and I made this video. Uh, let's take a look at it right now. Let me turn and make sure this is all on. Okay, should be good. Let's see. So this is the video right here from last week. If you um, listen right now, if... So one way I've seen these invalidated, right, is if the next candle gets up past the halfway point, right, and that's about, let's just call 66,000, right? If it, so that's what would invalidate the tweezer top for me. <clears throat> now let's take a look at the tweezer top. Right there is that invalidation mark. We did not quite get past it. And what that is, is that's halfway through this downside candle right here. Right. If we break that, that would invalidate the tweezer top. But as for right now, the tweezer top still looks valid. Um, if we cannot break above that 66, this could be a big, uh, this could be the end of the, the last rally for a long time. So let's take a look at the RSI. As you guys know, let me stretch this out. So on the RSI, we had a touch up top, touch at the bottom, touch at the top, no touch at the bottom here. 
I still think we could see that bottom touch somewhere between 3,500 and 9,700. I've been saying that for a long time. I still think this could be a very valid situation. Now let's take a look at, again, these are all the bearish cases that I'm pointing out to you. As you can see over here on the left, the Amazon.com bubble. On the right, the crypto bubble could look something like this. As you can see, we had our three peaks over here before the big crash. Remember, or don't remember, but imagine you were around back then when this big drop came. Everyone got scared just like this drop here. And then a big rally broke the high, got everyone super bullish again before the continuation to the downside. Be cautious, guys. Another indicator here. Let me pull this indicator up in case you guys want to use it. It is CM underscore ULT underscore MACD underscore MTF, right? It's called the tops pretty damn precisely. As you can see here, let's zoom in so you can see it. We're going to zoom into each one of these. We had our red dot cross here. Boom. We had one here too. Nice downside. We had this one here called this top. We had this one here called this top. And now we have had one right here. Is this the top? Is it over for Bitcoin? And by over for Bitcoin, I'm not saying Bitcoin's going to die. It's not going to zero. I'm not saying any of that. What I am saying is it's going to have a huge correction, in my opinion, especially looking at the all traditional markets as a whole, right? People look at the housing market, look at, you know, uh, the average person and their spending cash anymore. It's war kind of thin. Uh, in no way, shape, or form is this economy doing good, in my opinion. Let me know in your view down below in the comments. Do you really think the economy is doing that well, or is this kind of just some uh, crazy... Look, I look at the markets as a way for the big boys the big money to take your money and if they can draw you into the markets and i think this is a big one i think this is like a hundred year cycle that we're seeing uh, that's how they take your money let me know in the comments do you think we're going to go higher in traditional markets or do you think that's it it's topped off downside biggest money grab in history coming you let me know all right if you guys are interested in trading before we get into our elliott wave count there is a link down below. Using that link, you can get, it'll bring you to this page here for Prime XBT. You get up to a $7,000 deposit bonus or 25% off your trading fees. Uh, if you are interested in trading, this is a great platform to do so. You can trade crypto, Forex, gold, silver, oil, S&P, Dow Jones, everything, all from one exchange so you don't have to switch back and forth to other exchanges. Um, I'll leave a video up top right here. For you guys if you want to uh, learn how to place trades a lot of people get confused on how to place trades in that um, that video will tell you how to place your trades all right now this is the elliott wave count that i've been looking at for over a month now right as this being one this being two looking for three at 51 7 51 8 range and then four wave up to 56 8 to 59 7 and then looking for a fifth wave down at 42.8. Now, at this point, if this plays out and is right, this fourth wave could go lower. This could have been the end of fourth wave, and this is, or I'm sorry, this third wave could go lower, right, than here, or this third wave ended here, and we're looking at four up here and then five down, right, because we can count five wave structure in this. Let me show you that real quick. Uh, where are we at here? Right here. So this could have been a little wave one in here, wave two, wave three, wave four, wave five. Now, <clears throat> this being wave two, right? It's possible. It, but what I'm saying, I'm still looking for this count, but that doesn't mean that it crashes from there, right? I still expect if this count plays out, We'll look at the macro view as one more push up. Where would that get us? Something like this. So this is that yellow wave count I showed you. Five waves down, right? Getting us to that 42.8. And then one more big rally. 
getting us back up to 67, 68,000, getting everyone bullish again. There's going to be a lot of trade opportunity in here, guys, for big trades. So uh, if you are getting into trading, this is a great setup if this plays out. And then we have our three way down. And then, of course, what I've been expecting for a long time bitcoin to come down to these levels now this doesn't have to happen and none of this is financial advice but guys if you're not ready for something like this um if you're putting all your money into one thing like crypto or bitcoin or anything you need to be cautious because that money can disappear very quickly so i just want to put that out there i know a lot of people are screaming for a hundred thousand we've heard that all before and then people just watch their money go to nothing and then now we've got to bounce back everybody's feeling good again market's healthy everything's going to keep pumping they're going to get rich i don't think so i could be wrong but you let me know in the comments what you think's going to happen i'm curious to see what you got to say uh, but anyways that's what i'm looking at guys and what i'm looking for in the dow jones is something like this i really believe this is a good possibility and i think you guys need to at least take it into consideration that this could happen because if not and it does happen where are you going to be look at where your money's at and understand that when the traditional markets crash the things that get hit the most are speculative assets like crypto so be careful out there, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash the likes. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Tick that notification bell. And here's that video again that shows you how to play straights. Take it easy, guys. I'm out.